Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. And tomorrow is a 31 alert day for the threat of flooding. The National Weather Service has issued a flood watch for all of the Tennessee Valley from noon tomorrow all the way through midnight on Thursday night. I do think the heaviest of the rain and the most impactful uh, potential for flooding will be tomorrow. So we're keeping that 31 alert day for tomorrow uh, specifically. Uh, right now we have uh, rather warm evening temperatures in the low to mid 50s. 54 in Huntsville, 53 in Muscle Shoals and 52 in Fort Payne. And it's actually going to get a little warmer tomorrow than it did today with forecast highs in the 60s. In fact, we'll spend most of the day in the 60s. Unfortunately, it is going to be a rainy day. If you do have uh, errands to run, I would say the morning is going to be your best bet with hit and miss light showers initially and then the downpours come in during the afternoon. Let's walk through it on future radar. As for this evening and tonight, uh, we'll see the showers start to build uh, just after midnight. Initially on the light side, hit and miss. You'll continue to see that tomorrow morning, so your morning drive is going to be just fine, again, with just some light rain here and there from time to time. We start to see the heavy, consistent rain move into the shoals around lunchtime tomorrow. This is going to be a heavy band of rain with some lightning mixed in with it. There is going to be no threat for severe hail, wind, or tornado tornadoes, but the heavy rainfall gradually moves from the west to the east throughout tomorrow afternoon. So we're talking potentially an hour or two of this heavy rainfall over any given location, and this is going to be the culprit for the bulk of the rain we'll see over the next couple of days. We will continue to have off and on showers Wednesday night and continuing into Thursday, but I doubt this will be quite as heavy as what we're expecting specifically tomorrow afternoon. So I want you all to be careful when you head back home from work tomorrow or as you're taking the kids back home from school. Uh, could get a little dicey on the roads at times during that specific stretch. But between now and 6 p.m. on Thursday, Here's a look at the uh, model latest model data uh, forecast totals, and it's generally around one to three inches that we're expecting across North Alabama. It's going to be those pockets that get the two to three inches that will have the potential for some flash flooding. If you're familiar with any areas that typically flood when we get heavy rain, it is quite possible we will see that develop late in the day tomorrow, so be aware of that. And that's not the end of it. We have more heavy rain potential on Friday night into Saturday. I think much of the daytime Friday is going to be quiet with just some light rain possible, but the heavy rain and potentially more non-severe storms could head our way Friday night into Saturday. Very low chance at severe storms with that. We'll be keeping an eye on it. Right now, it doesn't look like much of a threat, but uh, if that changes, we will let you know. As far as uh, river flooding, we could see certainly the rivers and the streams rise over the next few days. Uh, it is now forecast that the Paint Rock River in southwest Jackson County reaches minor flood stage late this week. Near flood stage for the Flint River in eastern parts of Madison County and then Big Nance Creek out in Lawrence County uh, near flood stage there as well. That's generally going to be the case for many of our local rivers. Uh, exception being the Tennessee River likely to stay uh, well below flood stage. Here's your 10 day forecast after this wet stretch through Saturday. We will see much quieter weather, weather coming our way next week. A bit of a cool down on Sunday with highs in the 40s, but we're back to the 50s and even the 60s as we head toward next week.